Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and about to start the transfer process going from our six-year-old Wii console to our brand new for this 2013 Christmas Wii U set. For this, you do need to have both the devices hooked up to either the same TV or different TVs. Fortunately, we have two TVs, so it makes it a little easier. They both have to be on the internet. You also need an SD card with at least 512 megabyte capacity, and they say you need a Wii remote. Now on your Wii system, the first thing you'll want to do is transfer as much as you can off of the SD card that you have in the Wii console, assuming you've used that. I think we use that to put some of the games that we downloaded for Rock Band and a few apps onto that. So you want to get that off of that SD card because anything that's on the SD card does not get transferred to the new Wii U system. Next from the main menu, I'm going to go to the Wii Options, Data Management, Save Data, Wii, and here's there's some of our Rock Band, Netflix, Mario Kart games, I guess. Now the Wii Fit, we plan to use the Wii Fit board with, our, uh, with the Wii U, so we'd really like to be able to transfer the years of data our weight data that we have in that, so we're really hoping that will work. Here's what's on the SD card. Ah, this one does need to go. Ratatouille game. Data has been moved. Well, I moved off everything that I could. It worries me a little that the rock band won't go because I'm afraid the songs that we purchased may be over here, but looks like there's nothing I can do about it. The other thing with this transfer process from the Wii to the Wii U is it's a one-time deal and it's irreversible. You get one shot at moving it over, and when it's moved over, there's no moving it back. Having moved the data on the Wii off of the SD card and back into the Wii memory, now it's time to find that app here on the Wii U and download that. Got my Wii Remote paired, and now they're telling me that I need that Nintendo Network ID to use the Wii Shop channel, which is where I go to get the app to do the data transfer. So I have no choice in the matter but to set this up now. Transfer following data. Save data. WiiWare titles, virtual console titles and data, add-on content. Oh, your points. I think we still have a few points. Channel, shop history, and your me characters. There's more. Here at the Wii Shop channel, I'm hoping I don't have to go through a bunch of hoops. I can just get what I want. I want to put it in memory because I'm going to be swapping out cards. Okay, that was just a shortcut, so you could go and get this one. That's why this is such a weird way of doing it. But okay, this is the real one then. Okay, I have my SD card. I have my one gigabyte SD card. I formatted it in Windows 7 to FAT. If it needs to be formatted some other way, I assume the system will take care of it. I'm pretty sure you want to use an SD card that's blank or that you don't care what's on it because I have a feeling it's going to all be erased at this step. That was quick. Okay, turn on the other Wii, download the transfer tool. Okay, fortunately we have multiple TVs and multiple Wii remotes. At this point I'm going to pop out the SD card, take it over to the Wii console. Back here at the original Wii console, need to go into the Wii shopping channel. 
and look for that Wii U transfer tool. There it is. Fortunately, right up near the top. Wii U transfer tool. I guess a lot of people are using that right now. Download the app into the system memory. Just make a note here, I do have 600 Wii points. I'd like to see if they do transfer. Telling me I can only use the Wii remote with this. Same information they told me on the other system. All right, download's done. Wii U transfer tool. I've already swapped out my cards. I've taken out the two gigabyte card that was in there and I already put in my properly formatted by the Wii U system one gigabyte card. All right, they're asking, do I have the Wii U console and an SD card for the transfer? I'll say yes. In order to perform this, you need to have the SD card prepared by the target Wii U console. Yes, I have done that. Everybody's on the internet. Yes, yes. Seems to be ready. Got the card in. But wait, there's more. Read the information before starting the transfer. I think they're going to tell me it's irreversible and irrevocable. Oh, these things cannot be transferred. Internet channel, everybody votes channel. Check out me channel, Nintendo channel, Metroid preview, Netflix channel. Okay, well, I can live without those and re-download them fresh on the other system. The following purchase software, oh man, is not currently stored in the Wii system memory. After the transfer, you will be able to re-download this software from the Wii Shop channel. Just dance to Rock Band 3. Those are the two. Man, I don't want to lose the Rock Band because we've already spent money to buy the points and buy the songs. The data to be transferred from this console will be moved to the SD card and deleted from the Wii system memory. Once deleted, this data cannot be restored. Do you want to continue? Eh, not so sure anymore. Oh, they transferred my points. Okay. Oh, I see. The, the things they had records of me purchasing, they will go ahead and download on the new system once I move this over. Okay, I can live with that. These I think I have to go manually download again. Save data for these programs. It shows the Wii Fit Plus in there. Got my fingers crossed. Okay, finished moving data to the SD card. Insert the SD card into the target Wii U console. It's just going to go back to the display menu. Be curious to see what's left on there. Back to the Wii U, and it's still waiting for the SD card, which I now have in my hand with everything on it that it needs, I hope. Imagine this might take a little time. Oh, they're going to delete my SD card at the end of this. All right. Well, I hope that went well, because it looks like they deleted the SD card, so let's see what happened. Got my points, yay. Okay, well, they're here anyway. Save data for these programs. All right. So download again. System transfer complete. So poking around looking for where my stuff was, I ended up in the shopping bag which took me to the Nintendo eShop. Not sure if this is exactly the same as the Wii Shop from the other Wii, but it's telling me here that I have no balance and I need to buy some coins, but I had 600 when I started. Well, I can find neither hide nor hair of my games, my coins, any of that. I'm going to go get a disc for the Wii Fit Plus, plug it in, and see if perhaps it installs the game from the disc. It'll add the gameplay data to that. Got Wii Fit Plus. Seems to know there's a disc in there. A 
normally the disk symbol would change. Oh, there we go. I think the data's there. Yep, yeah, almost 2,000 days. All right. So I came back here and realized things look like they look on the original Wii. And I tried to use the gamepad. It wouldn't let me go through. It said, you cannot use the gamepad on Wii original games. And I went looking. I couldn't find any of the Wii U stuff. Well, it's sort of like it's an... I'm, I don't know how to put it. I'm in compatibility mode here. I'm in some old mode that the original Wii games can run in. And then I need to go to Wii U to get back to the modern interface and operating system. I put in the Rock Band 2 disc to play in Wii Classic mode. Got a little worried after putting Rock Band 2 and couldn't find any of the songs we had purchased, but then I remembered we had Rock Band 3. So put that in and it took a while, went out on the internet, did some of this and that, and it found the songs that we purchased. So, so far so good. Everything looks like it's moved over. Guess the last thing to look for are my 600 coins or points. There they are. So that's it for transferring data from the Wii to the Wii U. If you have set up your Wii U, you're, you've already configured things with it and you're using it, plan on at least a couple hours to go through this whole process, assuming there aren't any glitches. I suspect now we're over the hard part of it and we get some new games, the kids start playing with it. It'll turn out we're glad we made the purchase.